Sample final exam number 28. Here we're asked to graph the equation 2x equals minus y plus 2 by plotting points. And we're given the x values for the points, minus 2 and 0. So the first thing we're going to do is figure out the y value that goes with each of these x values. And that will give us two ordered pairs. Once we have two ordered pairs, we're going to make our graph and we're going to go ahead and plot the points and draw a line right through it. So let's start with x equals minus 2. To find the y value that goes with it, we start with the equation, 2x equals minus y plus 2. We put in the x value of minus 2. 2 times minus 2 equals minus y plus 2. And we solve this like any regular linear equation. 2 times minus 2 is minus 4 equals minus y plus 2. And now we want to isolate the y, so we subtract 2 from both sides. Minus 6 equals minus y. And now we need to get rid of the minus sign, so we divide both sides by a negative or multiply by a negative, either way. That gives us a positive 6 equals y. Now that specific y value goes with that specific x value. They are an ordered pair. So when x is minus 2, y is 6. Now we go for the next x value. x is 0. We're going to find the specific y value that goes with x equals 0. And we'll do it the exact same way. 2x equals minus y plus 2. Put in 0 for x. 2 times 0 equals minus y plus 2 which gives us 0 equals minus y plus 2. And we want to get y all by itself on one side. So I think I'll add y to both sides. That'll give the y a positive coefficient in the front there. So it cancels out here and we get y equals 2. And again, that specific y value goes with that specific x value. When x is 0, y is 2 for this equation. So let's go back and fill it in up here. For the ordered pair, x is 0, y is 2. All right, we're going to take that ordered pair and graph our line now. So again, we had minus 2, 6, and 0, 2. Those are the ordered pairs we just found. So let's go ahead and make our graph. And since I'm drawing the graph myself here, I can use whatever scale I want. Be careful on my math lab. Sometimes the scale is two units per division. Sometimes it's one. It can vary. And also when you're taking a test, you always want to look to see how many units are labeled per division. I'm going to make each division one unit. So one, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. All right, first point, minus 2, 6. Start at the origin, go x minus 2, left, up 6, and we're right there. And then we go 0, 2, start at the origin, move 0 sideways for x, up to right there. So it looks like we're going to go right through that 5 that I wrote for the label. And now we just put a straight line through here. And you should probably use a ruler, which I didn't do, and that'll help you go right through the points. So you want to try to get right through the point that you drew. And that would be our straight line equation. 2x equals minus y plus 2.